fast moving storylines is the thing over here. Very fast. Very fast. Let's talk about it. Let's talk about the story. <laughs> I'm like, come on through, cook. Yeah. I want to pull my soapbox. That's basically it. Let's talk about drag and all its forms. What? Hey guys, thanks so much for clicking on the video. This is my review for Stars Season 3, Episode 7. As I said, there's some fast-moving storylines here. We're still working on, uh, it's Maurice is spearheading and getting things together for this uh, festival that belongs to Carlotta. And he is just making a mess of things. He has switched things up. He's basically really pushing the narrative of Noah and his new album, as opposed to Take Three. And you know, this whole festival was really built around Take Three. He has changed the whole narrative. Um, he's even, the little rapper guy, he even tried to bring him back into the fold. I'm like, that Maurice is being a mess, being a, a real mess. Then he's threatening Noah, you know, threatening Noah and, and pushing him, you know, because he's jealous of the whole situation with Noah and the lawyer chick. So that's all a mess. And they just keep going back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. It's starting to get on my nerves. Alex and Derek are still having their problems. She's suffering anxiety attacks and nobody has actually noticed except for um, Simone sees the sadness in Alex and knows something's wrong. But nobody really knows about her anxiety attacks. And Derek is doing this undercover stuff. And he can't tell Alex what's going on, but it is causing a real life problem, a real life problem. Um, and they're saying, you know, we need more, we need more, we need more. So they're really getting to the point where they're putting Derek into some danger here, saying that they need more. They need more, they need more information. Which is really crazy because you're putting him in this really dangerous predicament when he's not a trained professional to do all this. And the other girl, the girl, the other undercover agent, she's an agent. She's trained. And she's like a bar back or whatever. She's trained. So I'm just like, kind of like, mm, I don't like this, but you know, whatever. Um, then there's a girl came on the scene and who tried to blackmail Noah for $20,000 saying that he actually gave her the clap. And here it is. It's a, a Photoshop picture. Um, there was a whole thing where Maurice felt like he should just pay the girl off. And then the lawyer chick is like, no, that's extortion. And if you pay her, all she's going to do is keep coming back. And Noah's like, I'm going to go with my lawyer. And Maurice is like, you're speaking to him like you're his woman, not his lawyer. He needs to just pay her off and go on. I'm like, ridiculous. Noah decided not to pay her. Okay. And go with his lawyer. Next thing you know, we see him and the lawyer. They're actually walking after everything's supposedly taken care of. They're walking at night. And some guy comes and basically pistol whips Noah and sticks them up. He holds them up at gunpoint. And it kind of broke out from there. So I don't know where that's going. I'm like, and he's like, you should have gave the bitch the money when she asked for it. So I don't know. This guy must be connected to her. But they didn't give us any more information about it. I was just kind of like, this is so random. I was like, okay, Lee, I'm going to follow you, but this just seems very random. Um, with all this going on as well, Miss Bruce is having a very hard time. Maurice is doing, you know, just doing things that Miss Bruce ain't feeling it. Um, just disrespectful. Very disrespectful. Cassie. Cassie is going around and around with Xander. Xander is doing the absolute most. He's supposed to have been leaving his wife, but he wasn't leaving the wife, it didn't seem. Um, he ended up, you know, he's saying, you're not taking care of things. You're not on this. Um, there's a, a rat, you know, that's bringing attention to the club, this, that, and the other. And it was a whole mess. Just a whole mess. And at one point, he went and he blamed Cotton. So Cassie ended up running up on Cotton and said, you went to the police about my club, this, that, and the other. Cotton's like, bitch, you know I ain't no snitch, this, that, and the other. And that's when Miss Bruce stepped in and said, hey, Cassie, First of all, you need to back up out of Cotton's face. 
You want some fuck shit right now. Carlotta's not here and you want some fuck shit because you know if Carlotta was here, you would not be fucking with Cotton. You know that. And that girl ain't did nothing to you. You need to leave it alone. And said, what's going on? The thing is, you back messing with that Xander again, ain't you? You need to leave it alone. You know he used to whoop your ass and all of that. You need to leave it alone. And he he is, he's very, they got a very weird S&M type of relationship. He choking her out and then asking her to marry him. And she talking about, yeah, and kissing her in the mouth. It's real crazy. Real, real crazy. And he's mad about the stuff with the club. And he's blaming her. Real crazy. So at one point, Derek ended up going to Cassie and asking her for a job. So he could get closer. Um, once he gets in there, he ends up going to the guy. It's actually, it is the guy who raped Miss Ruby and telling him he wants to be in with that crew because he needs to make some real money so they can pay their mortgage. So um, they, that's when the guy actually put him through this little test. And uh, Derek passed the test, you know, for being thugged out or whatever. And um, he was like, yeah, he said, uh, he, he said to Derek that, Cassie don't know about what's going on because Cassie ain't calling the shot. So that was basically kind of the information that they actually needed. And there was this point where uh, Alex actually had a conversation with uh, Derek and was getting ready to tell her something, but then couldn't tell her. And it broke out and they really was in a bad spot. And shortly thereafter, um, Derek was talking to the little bar back check and the guy walked up. So he just started kissing her. And, you know, to throw it off. And uh, the next thing you know, Alex actually walked in on the kiss. So that just blew that all out of proportion. I was like, oh, God, this is horrible. Horrible, horrible, horrible. So all of this is a mess. Last thing we seen of that was Derek got a phone call when he was getting ready to explain the kiss stuff to Alex. He got a phone call. He's like, I can't explain right now. It was old Barback chick. She's telling him, come on, come meet me at this spot. Well, we see her waiting on Derek to get to the spot. And the next thing you know, we see the guy with the one who had actually raped Miss Ruby. He catches her and he chokes her out and told her, I know you was a cop, bitch. And he chokes her out. So that's the last we've seen of him. Um, Derek is actually on his way. I'm like, oh my God, this is awful. Awful, awful. But it's so, the storyline's moving so fast. And I'm like, I don't know if I, I don't like this. I don't like this. But anyway, so then we see there's a raid on the club. Club is being raided by the FBI. Cassie slides out, goes to this ball. She's supposed to be meeting Xander at this ball. She gets there. Xander's wife is there. So she's going off about that. He's telling her, keep it down. Then he's end up telling her, this is bad. This is all bad. And he tells her, the feds are going to figure this all out. This is just all fucked up. And she said, they ain't finding nothing because they didn't get a chance to, I snuck out before they were able to, to question me. So they won't be able to question me. It's cool. I got it all taken care of about the money laundering. And he's like, no, it's more than that. I've been running drugs all out of that club. And it's all going to come back to me. I, you know, this is all fucked up. This is bad. And she smacked him. And she was like, I told you I was trying to go legit. Why would you do that? Why would you be running drugs that I didn't know? She used, he used her. He used her. Just like Carlotta told her. Just like Miss Bruce told her. And um, he told her, well, if you take the fall for it, she smacked him again. And she went on off. She left. Now, there was another little point in there where the girls have actually staged an argument to get on this girl named Chloe to get on her Instagram um, to get, you know, to go viral. You know, they're always playing these little dirty games to go viral and it worked. So everybody's thinking this is their last album. So they're actually doing all that. Star that fell out with Jackson because Jackson said he's done. He said, I'm done with you, Star. I'm trying to move in together with you and different things and try to be a part of the baby's life. You act like it's just your baby. You keep on making statements about it's your baby. And I'm just done. He said, I'll do what I need to do for the baby, but you, I'm done with you. So after they staged the little coup, some things were actually said, you know, where they were supposedly acting, but they hit home. Star went and bought a house 
and told Jackson, no, I want to be together, and I want you to move in, and he went for it. I said, well, that was good. Moving too fast, but that was good. Um, let's see, what else happened? Oh, last thing. We see Cassie at the police station. And we thought, I thought she was going to flip one Xander and be done with it. But then I see her at the police station talking about she there to turn herself in. I said, what? And that's where it actually ended at. It was the weirdest thing. So weird. I, I was like, huh, y'all moving too fast and shit's jumbling up. And then this is just weird. And I can't imagine Cassie actually being that stupid. But whatever. Anyway, they won't be back next week. It's two weeks, and then I'll be back. I definitely need to get back here because I need to. I got questions. I have questions, and I need answers. All right, guys. I'll see y'all in two.